it's a legal requirement for anyone receiving federal funds that the research actually be reviewed by a panel of different types of people. I mean, the board is made up of scientists, non-scientists, community members, so that you've got a pretty holistic view of the research. It wasn't until the 1980s that research with human subjects was actually reviewed by this type of a board. One of the more controversial cases we had uh, had to do with a surgical implant that was overstating the benefits. And it was not clear to the IRB what exactly the researchers were trying to establish by doing this surgical procedure on these children because there was another option for this group of children. Um, and so it was not clear that this was really an ethical protocol and we, we actually denied it. Now children are considered vulnerable populations because they cannot consent to the protocol themselves and so their parents have to consent on their behalf. So there are additional protections that are actually given to children. Another interesting twist on this very protocol was that the manufacturer of the device had made some claims that had not been founded. Um, these were on the manufacturer's website directing potential participants to actually come to the university to enroll their children in this protocol. Um, that is unethical.